Yeah, listen now, people. I can't swim. But I'm going to try and go out there and get a dip in this water here. So. people granarizing people welcome back to the channel this is mp chosen one um so it's day three here at this beautiful beautiful um bnb here in montego bay jamaica the grounds of this place is just amazing i can't find the words to really truly describe the tranquility the beauty the natural beauty of the place the trees the plants it is just the breeze, the wind that you feel coming across from the, the, the hillside over there. I'm telling you people, it's just amazing. So what I've done, I've put together an extensive tour of the, of the property itself, including um, the room that I'm staying in. That's the, I think that's the sunrise room. I'm not sure, I think there's probably about two or three rooms here available. Um, for guests to be rented and um, yeah I'm staying in the sunrise one so that's on the top deck just there yeah so you're gonna see um, the inside of that room and also what it looks like from the outside the views that I get from the inside out the window but it's just breathtaking to be honest this property here honestly people I need some money I need to get myself something like this, you know, so you don't want to miss this video. Um, I'll also leave the link in the description of this property below. So if you ever you're in Montego Bay or in Jamaica, then you can feel free to um, stay at this place. I cannot sure that you won't regret the stay here. If you're looking for tranquility, you're looking for peace and comfort. Yeah, this is the place to come. So. Stay tuned and you'll see all the beautiful scenery that I've seen in my three days staying here in Montego Bay. Hope all is well with you people and um, yeah, so yeah, I'll carry on in this video and you'll see what's happening on these grounds here.
so this beach here in Montego Bay years ago when I used to live here this used to be a big open beach well there was a fencing just outside the road there and um, when I used to be living in um, was it West Green I think or it's Barnet Lane no Barnet Lane I used to um, run in the mornings up to this beach here and I used to just come walking on the shores and um, you know just running around the beach itself I love that they are on the shores but now they have um, fenced it and really did some nice something nice to the grounds and you know, pretty much all you do is pay for the parking time which is um, you know, sensible reasonable you know because it's um, 200 Jamaican dollars an hour pretty much and then you can go and sit on the beach and done a good job of it to be honest because when he was free yes he was free and it was nice but then probably wouldn't have anywhere to park and things so it's good that they actually you know fix it up like this and you can actually get some of the parking the right there. Yeah, but it's pretty much still free you're just paying for the parking for those of the people who actually drive Yeah, so I'm not sure what's the name of the beach yet, what they have called it, but we used to call it, um, is it, um, we used to call it back in time. It's beautiful, in Jamaica, there's a lot of white sand on the beaches, you know. Yeah. They have a little um, pipe here, you can wash your hands and probably a face if you want to nice little sink yeah, look at this water it's amazing absolutely amazing yeah so yeah this is the exact beach Years ago, when I was living here in Montego Bay, used to come. But as I said before, as I said earlier, it's not it's not a paid for beach, but you have to pay for the parking. It's 200 Jamaican dollars for the um, for an hour, and um, I think if you want to stay all day, it's about 700 Jamaican dollars. It's almost nothing really. Equivalent, equivalent to probably. Um, five ten US dollars for the day and then you get to enjoy this beautiful blue clear waters and um, white sand Which, you know so it's it's worth it you know it's worth it yeah but at the moment I'm just getting my hands well my feet in the, in the sand you know yeah not much here just to really show to be honest it's just it's a typical white sand beach beautiful waters yeah. yeah so i'll just start i'll just show you so i left the um the bnb earlier this morning I had something to eat I decided to just come by the, this beach here so Today we do, tonight will be my last night at the BMD and then I'll head back to Kingston. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Port yeah. Greater right. Port Moore rather. And, um, yeah, I'll see what yeah. I can um, capture while I'm there as well. Back in um, Port Moore or Kingston themselves. Yeah. And hopefully I get to um, meet up with some other YouTubers and um, do some collaborations. Yeah. Just um, see some other people, see some other things, some other sides of the To be honest, I'm in a vacation with people. Yeah, as I said, it's been years since I've been back here, so I'm really spending most of my time um, you know, full drawing the, 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 the country. You know? All these few days, just full drawing, man, to be relaxing, resting a bit. You know, I've been doing much blogging, to be honest. Yeah, but yeah, but definitely. I'll start um, going around doing a lot more show you in Jamaica.
Look at this water, people. Crystal clear. Yeah, the beauty of Jamaica is unmatched. Trust me, look at the water. Crystal, crystal, crystal clear. <laughs> Trust the people. Airbnb people and I want to go take a, a little dip in the pool I can't swim sorry uh, don't laugh at me in the comment section don't laugh at me when you hear this but I'm a grown man and I cannot swim but this pool is so beautiful so amazing I have to take a, a bit inside of it and I definitely have to take a dip so that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now yeah but me and large bodies of water is no friend. I don't know how to navigate myself around it, so yeah, but I'm still gonna try and go inside there and see. You know? Just to show you what it's like. Jesus, for the water is a little bit chilly man. After you stay in it, your body it get get ad adapted to it. It's fine. Yeah, if you like a bit um it's a bit cold, man. Yeah, shit. It's cool. You're not in it. You're not in it. Yes, yeah, so. sir. Yeah, this is it, man. Beautiful pool, people.
people look at this this little wooden um, house I saw on the bottom here this is also available to be rented if you do choose to um, stay um, at this property yeah so all the um, information I'll actually leave in the link below so um, you can click on these links that I'll be posting in the description below and um, you'll be able to yeah get this place to stay and um, there's a um, beautiful picture of the, the breadfruit as you know the breadfruit is something that is quite common and very popular on the um, Jamaican table it can be roasted um, when it's in its um, fuller state or you can also have it when it's less full um, just as a regular starchy staple food like yam or potatoes or anything like that and this of course is a breadfruit tree just in the middle right here those of you who have never seen a breadfruit tree before this is what it looks like you know these are the leaves of the breadfruit tree yeah so yeah so that's this is a breadfruit tree here and of course people this place is well secured with um, security cameras there's um, there's an electric gate at the front and um, also there is security here always so it's safe it's secure and it's just amazing So there's some banana trees here as well. There's no banana on them at the moment. I'm thinking now there's not a lot of fruit trees here. It's more of a garden kind of atmosphere, you know. But still, still tranquil, still nice. Lots of palms, you know. I just love palms, you know. It actually brings a um, kind of nature vibes to your property. And um, it's also a jelly coconut tree here.
This is your Black Explorer here. Yeah, I'm here in Birmingham. We're deep inland, in Scotland. So 